Thank you, Mr. Chairman. And I'm sorry to say that I understood I was coming for a rebuttal. I didn't realize I've taken the time. How can a young man cleanse his way? By taking heed according to your word. Verse 5, 11. Your word I have hidden in my heart that I may not sin against you. Verse 133. Direct my steps by your word and let no iniquity have dominion over me. 2 Timothy 3, 16 to 17. All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness that the man of God may be complete, thoroughly equipped for every good work. Romans 15, 4. For whatever things were written before were written for our learning that we through the patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. There are no less than 300 prophecies that were fulfilled in the time and lifetime of our Lord Jesus Christ. In the Quran we are told and argue not with the people of the scripture unless it be in a way that is better. We are also told and if thou Muhammad art in doubt concerning that which we reveal unto thee, then ask or inquire, if you please, those who read the scripture that was before thee. Then we read in Surah Al-Ma'idah from Pikthal, interestingly enough, it's verse 44. In Ali's, it's 47. And this is what it says. It was as who revealed the Lord to Moses, Pardon me, it was we who revealed the law to Moses. Therein was guidance and light. By its standard have been judged the Jews by the prophet who loved, who loved Allah, Allah's will, by the rabbis and the doctors of the law. For to them was entrusted the protection of Allah's book. It's called Allah's book. Now, Mr. Didat, as to the questions concerning these matters of figures and the lives of people, let me first mention to you that I'm amazed that a man of your caliber does not realize that in Matthew, we have the lineage of Jesus from the side of Joseph, his adopted father. And you know, as well as I do, 66 fathers were not the real fathers. It was very simple. There was grave importance in those days and today placed on one's ability to prove his lineage because the inheritance depended on that. Therefore, Jesus was connected to the royal line of David from the tribe of Judah through Joseph. Dr. Luke followed another line from Mary because they were not brother and sister. And as you will know, King Hussein of Jordan traces his lineage to the Hashemites and therefore to that of Muhammad himself because of the importance involved. Accuracy, Mr. Dirac, must be the idea. As for the other matters that you mentioned, such as Samson. <laughs> First of all, ladies and gentlemen, no one has the right to make fun of the word of God because he is playing with fire. Secondly, I have noticed ever since I met Mr. Didat that he has a problem with the biblical miracles. Why? It appears to me that his Allah is too small for such demonstrations of the Almighty. Surely one can say Allahu Akbar all day and all night. But I would rather say Allahu Huwa Akbar. God is the greatest. And therefore he is capable of providing his anointed servants with incredible powers to do his bidding. Listen to this. Mas'udi in Muradi, volume 4, page 376, tells us that at the battle of Safin, Ali, with his own hand, no weapon, no stick, no job of an ass, had killed 525 men in one day. Now I wonder if this story is more believable than Samson killing 1,000 men with a large jawbone of a donkey. Samson even killed more people. Samson even killed more people without a weapon in his hand. If you know the Bible, 
he simply prayed then pushed the pillars of the heathen's temple apart by his powerful arms causing the roof to crumble over the thousands who were gathered there he killed more without a weapon than with one as to the foxes mr didat apparently you haven't studied about foxes do you know that their favorite food is lamb and chicken could not Samson have placed the fox's favorite food in a fenced area so as to lure them into it? A common saying in most languages where fox's lips states, as sly as a fox. Why? Because, my dear friends, when captured, a fox plays dead till he is left alone. Then he takes off. Samson could have tied their tails while they were playing dead then with a rope tied the torch between them what a hilarious sight it must have been to see those creatures running throughout the fields with a flaming torch tied to their tails and setting fire to his enemy's corn after all samson my friends was a practical joker like i'm sure some of you with a good sense of humor and very clever now I'd like to ask you, please, the Quran states God inspired David to write the Zabur. Let me ask you a question. Do you know that there are 150 Psalms which God inspired? 50 are anonymous. We do not know who wrote them, humanly speaking. 12 by Asaph, 10 by the sons of Korah, 2 by Solomon, 1 by Moses, and the balance of the 150 by David. Therefore, the Quran is not correct in claiming David wrote the Zabur. We also must ask you, what about the Injil? You say it was given to Jesus only. Galatians 3, 7 to 9 declares, Therefore, know that only those who are of faith are sons of Abraham. And the scripture, foreseeing that God would justify the nations by faith, preaching the gospel to Abraham beforehand. Did you get that? saying in you all the nations shall be blessed so then those who are of faith are blessed with believing abraham god warns my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge because you have rejected knowledge i will also reject you hosea 4 6. brethren my heart's desire and prayer to god for all muslims is that they may be saved for I bear them witness that they have a real zeal for God, but not according to knowledge. For they being ignorant of God's righteousness and seeking to establish their own righteousness, have not submitted to the righteousness of God. For Christ is the end of the law for righteousness to everyone who believes. For Moses writes about the righteousness which is of the law. The man who does those things shall live by them. But the righteousness of faith speaks in this way do not say in your heart who will ascend into heaven that is to bring christ down from heaven or who will descend into the abyss that is to bring christ up from the dead but what does it say the word is near you even in your mouth and in your heart that is the word of faith which we preach that if you confess with your mouth the lord jesus and believe in your heart that god has raised him from the dead you will be saved for with the heart one believes to righteousness and with the mouth confession is made to salvation so then faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of god for the grace of god that brings salvation has appeared to all men teaching that denying ungodliness and worldly lusts we should live soberly righteously and godly in the present age looking for the blessed